Hello, my name is Arnold Delorme and I'm going to show you how to use the program I made which is called Neurofeedback Lab to record from uh, EG device and do processing in real time and feedback in real time. It's a free program and so we'll see how to install it and uh, use it. And I'm going to do a demo with a Muse headset. It works with many different headsets, so here's just one of them and uh, we'll see how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is to first download uh, the program. So we go on uh, Google and we're going to type Neurofeedback Lab Download and that's on GitHub. So download, so download zip, already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it. Uh, and then we need another one which is called BCI Lab, so BCI Lab Download. Clone or download, and again, download zip. So once you've downloaded, this one is a bit bigger. Once you've downloaded these programs, uh, what do we do? So first we're going to, so that's my download folder. We're gonna unzip the Neurofeedback Lab program. We're gonna unzip the BCI Lab program. And then we're going to move the BCI Lab program inside Neurofeedback Lab this way. It's about, it's able to find it relatively easily. We have to rename it BCI Lab as well because it's usually expecting for it to be named BCI Lab. Okay, so it's installed. So we're ready to go. And the next step is to connect to the Muse headset. So this is done with another program. And uh, so the Muse headset, I have, a, I have a Muse headset here and I'm going to turn it on. And that's a Muse one. And then with the Muse one, they, uh, the Interaxon, the company that makes this headset, they had a SDK, software development kit, to connect to this headset. That's not the case anymore. They've discontinued uh, the SDK. So this only works for the older Muse, the Muse one. You can connect to many other headsets using uh, this program. So it's, it's just for demo purposes. And this uses LSL, so lab streaming layer which is another protocol that was developed by our lab. And with this kind of protocol, you can connect to many headsets. You can connect to Emotive, Muse, and then Research Grade headset, Neuroscan, Biosemi, ANT, Wearable Sensing, Philips Neuro, etc. Uh, I think there's about um, 30 different EG systems you can connect with and stream data using this protocol. And once the data is connected, then we're going to use your feedback lab to connect to that stream. So I'm going to use that command to connect the news headset. It's trying to connect. Okay, it's connected. It says with 60% battery and the connection is pretty good. So now it's streaming on the EG stream on my computer so I can connect to that stream either on the local uh, computer or on the local network as well if your firewall allows for it. And I start MATLAB and I go to the right folder. So that's Neurofeedback Lab Master sources and I'm going to type a Neurofeedback Lab process to start a Neurofeedback Lab. You want to record a baseline so this is when you're running ASR which is artifacts of space reconstruction which is a method to correct artifact especially movement artifact. You need to run a baseline which is usually about one minute to get some clean data so it knows uh, what to uh, search when it rejects artifacts so here I'm going to press yes and an our connection and now it's streaming so it's connected to the muse it's streaming data it's putting out all these texts and in another video i'm going to go into detail what is the text uh, so it's the type of feedback that would be returned and uh, as soon as it's done it's going to stop and save a data file and then we'll be able to run uh, a real session so it takes about one minute. Usually you don't want the subject or the participant to move. When this is happening, you want them to stay still so you can collect uh, clean data. Okay, so it saved the data file. It says, I save this file. So now we're going to run uh, a real session. So in your feedback lab process, do you want a baseline, run a baseline? No. Which file do you want to run uh, use for baseline, so it's just going to list the file. 
there's only two. There's one that's used for offline streaming. It's when you can give it a file for offline streaming. And there's the one that just recorded right now using the date and, and time. I'm just gonna press one. And now it's streaming to clients. And it's going to plot this curve, which is basically the real time spectral power. And uh, so that's the same type of value that's returned here. In addition, here there's also a threshold. So if it's above the threshold, there's a dynamic range. So uh, it gives you where in the dynamic range it is. So you can see the spectral power there is and it's being plot. So that's just a very simple uh, demo of plotting. You probably wouldn't use that with a real subject. What you would use is is something like a real uh, feedback display. And so there's real uh, two way, uh, two ways to do that, to re uh, use a real time display. First, uh, it's it interface directly with the, what's called the psychophysics toolbox. So it's another MATLAB toolbox to do psychophysics. And you can do uh, nice graphics. Also, you can control the latency. So we're going to see that in a second. And then another way is to control the program using uh, the TCP IP uh, protocol. So first let's look at the psychophysics toolbox. So uh, to look at the psychophysics toolbox, you would download it and psycho toolbox download. And I'm not gonna download it here because I already have it installed. Uh, but basically you can download uh, a zip file here or uh, you can do other things. So now I'm going to go to the folder in which it is downloaded. Psycho toolbox and then just run the setup program so it knows in the path uh, where it is. And it's in the Psycho toolbox folder. Set up Psycho toolbox. Yes. Okay, now it's installed. I go back to my folder. I have to change the uh, options. So that's here, the option. And I have to turn uh, the cycle of physics toolbox on. So there's many options. There's a, another video with all the options you can use. So the cycle toolbox here, I'm gonna turn to true. So use the cycle toolbox. Don't do the simple plot, or I can do both at the same time. And that's it, that's the only thing you have to change. So you have to change this parameter here, cycle toolbox to true. And now we're gonna stream again. We don't need to record another baseline. So I'm going to use this command again. You want to run baseline no, and then select the file and here first file. And now it's setting up my, my screen with the cycle toolbox. And basically now the color of the square depends on the spectral power. So we've, uh, we're publishing a paper with this methods, which we used on 24 subjects, eight sessions each, so 192 sessions. So this is a real uh, protocol in which subject were trying to change the color of the square and the color was depending on the spectral power. So here's just a demo, so it doesn't last very long. Usually sessions are about five minutes. Uh, you can do whatever you want, of course, with the cycle toolbox. So that's the second way to run it. And then there's a third way uh, to run the program. And the third way to run the program is using TCP IP messaging. So it's with a third party program that you would have or you would program and then you can do TCP IP to get all these values of the spectral power, uh, etc. So here we're going to try to do a demo with that. And I'm going to change the options again. I'm going to put the cycle toolbox to false. And then TCP IP I'm going to set to true. You can choose any port you want as long as it's open through the uh, firewall. You have to put in slave mode so it's waiting for connection. So here I've written a simple, uh, simple client that's also distributed and it just opens a socket through Java 
to this other program, so it's also in MATLAB, and it's just going to do uh, a sound, and and basically the volume of the sound depends on on the feedback. So it's beep beep beep, and the volume changes based on the feedback. So you should hear the volume changing. So you can do audio here. You can do many more complex things. That's just again as an example. And so here, this one sends message, and you can see the type of message. So I have a, a, another video describing the type of message you can use, and then um, and then it decodes the message, and based on the value of the feedback, uh, puts a, a different sound. So let's 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 try it out. And for this, I would need two MATLAB sessions. So here, I'm going to open additional instance of MATLAB. Again, the client here is in MATLAB, could be any, any other language, uh, as long as it's TCP IT communication. So near feedback like process, so now it's waiting for somebody to connect to it. Uh, and now I'm going to run this other program, simple client. Okay, it's connecting, connecting to the headset. Okay, and it's done. And again, these don't have to be on the same computer as long as the ports are open on the local network. Also, if you choose different ports, you can have five different people wearing different EEG headsets and serve them simultaneously and possibly do interaction. Uh, between people based on what is competition, whoever has the higher spectral value, things like that. So there's a lot of possibility uh, uh, with this software. So that's the end of this demo. And um, in the other video, I'll describe in more details all the parameters because there's many parameters you can change and what you can do with this software.